Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome to Beer Virtually. Um, it's been a little while since I posted a video. It's been busy with work and life and uh, little vacations here and there and whatnot, but um, today's the second day of fall here in Florida, and we have a pumpkin beer. Um, this is Southern Tears Cold Press Coffee Pumpkin. So Southern Tears Pumpkin has become at least here in Florida, kind of a standard for good coffee beers. I mean, I, I really like their their pumpkin. This has a great smell. It's a it's a range of light hints of coffee, and then all the regular pumpkin smells. You know, the cinnamon, the allspice, the graham crackeriness, pumpkin in general. Kind of just all like a just a general fall smell. And we actually have a real live tulip glass. I know I've been saying forever I was gonna get one and I got one. So this beer recommends serving between 35 and 40 degrees, and I don't think we're that cold. Eh. We are at 34 degrees. So we're right there. 34 degrees. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's take the first sip. So much going on right off the bat. And it is good cold. I, I, I've had this, I've bought a four pack and I've had a couple already. Um, and I, I, every time I taste it, it, I pick out more stuff in it, but The initial mouthfeel is very smooth, um, and this cold is very refreshing, even though it's kind of a maltier beer. Then you definitely get probably the little bit of biscuitiness next, and then the pumpkin. And then the coffee is kind of like um, almost on the finish. It's very good. Color is pretty good. Um, it's definitely lighter than I expected initially. I expected it to be uh, definitely a little darker with coffee in there. But it's a, um, they use a light roast and it's cold press. So when they cold press coffee, it doesn't release. There's certain, there's certain um, fatty acids and there's certain... Um, oils that come out at a higher temperature. So if they never get the coffee up to that higher temperature, they never release those fatty acids and oils, and those can be bitter. So this is a very smooth coffee flavor. Let's look up some stats on this beer. We have... It's an Imperial Pumpkin Ale, and it, it's an Imperial because it's 8.6% ABV. It's up there pretty good. 30 on the IBU scale, which is kind of what I expected, very low on the IBU. Um, it, really no hoppy bite at all to speak of. $14.99 a four pack. Definitely not cheap, but the Southern Tier Pumpkin is the same price as the regular Southern Tier Pumpkin. So I figured for something different, it would be worth the money. Um, what else do I have on this? It's available August, late August through autumn. So about the same as all the Oktoberfests and pumpkin beers that are out right now. You know, and there's, there's no shortage of them this year for sure. There's a lot of Oktoberfest beers out that I've seen. I mentioned earlier that with the cold uh, serving temperature, and I tried this beer a little bit warmer, and it gets almost a little tangy. The, the coldness really kind of keeps that at bay, um, and not too many better flavors open up as it gets warmer. This beer has, it's an ale, and so it has ale yeast in it, and also has has two types of malt and two types of hops. 
in it. The uh, label's kind of um, it says limited Southern Tier on the on the label. It's kind of a regular standard Southern Tier label. Cold press coffee pumpkin, imperial pumpkin ale. It's got a little pumpkin with the cake with the excuse me crown on it. This is good. I I I like I said I've had a couple of these uh, leading up to this, and this is definitely pumpkin is one of my favorite pumpkin beers anyway, and this just fits right in. So smooth, and I think just really do a good job with it. I, it's hard to it's hard to find anything really really bad about it. I recently had um, Tampa Bay Brewing's Good Gourd, no uh, Gourd Gone Wild, was the uh, I think what it was called, and um, that was very good also. Definitely more spicy though. This this just tastes very natural, and if it, especially with the coffee, it's, comp it's almost like. After Thanksgiving dinner, and you have a cup of coffee and a slice of pumpkin pie, it's kind of what it what it is, but cooler and more refreshing. Man, that's that's pretty good. So rank wise, I give this beer a four and a quarter. The only thing to me that would make this beer better was if it was maybe a little more complex. And I say that, but there's a certain like there's a certain organizedness of this beer. And I've mentioned that in a lot of my reviews that some beers have a good organized flavor and the better brewers seem to do a better job of organizing the flavors. Let's see if we check temperature real quick. We're up to 43, so 42, so it's definitely getting a little warmer. Um, this has a very organized, the flavors all fit just right together. Some flavors like stick out, you may get something's overpowering more than others. This is a great collection and flow of flavors. It just fit very, very well closely together. As it's a little warmer, and I've had half a beer, definitely more smell, and that smell is a little bit of coffee, but more like that kind of an allspice smell. A little nutmeggy. So I give this beer a four and a quarter. Like I said, the only thing, I, I wouldn't mind having a darker version of this beer. Um, or even a barrel-aged version. If you were to barrel-age this, I, that might just blow my mind. That might be the best thing ever. And um, the people that do the uh, Bourbon County, they have a barrel-aged uh, pumpkin that I may have to try. And Dogfish Head has a pumpkin brown ale that I may also have to try. Um, brown ales are probably my favorite overall and general types of beer so a pumpkin brown ale could either be really bad or really good um dogfish head doesn't usually disappoint so it's probably pretty good we'll have to see that smell is getting stronger and stronger almost it's almost uh as you go to sip and the smell hits your nose. It's almost a little overpowering now, and it doesn't complement the taste as much. The taste seems weak in comparison to the smell now, because the smell is 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 really coming out. This is good, though. This is this is really good. To me, this is. This is the type of beer I like to review. This is what craft beer is. Craft beer is taking a beer that they've already worked on for the last, I don't know, at least five years. That, that 
I know of that uh, Southern Tier Pump King has been out. And then they're, they're doing a twist on it. And that's what I really like about craft beer is their willingness to experiment and push the boundaries and say, what if we did this and what if we put this with it? And that's what I love about craft beer. This is more of a medium body beer. And it is almost filling. Um, this isn't a beer that you could have more than... You probably wouldn't want to drink more than two in a row. You could do two. Three would start to feel heavy, though, I think. That's the end of that. Till next time, guys. Cheers.